Dina, you were obviously a big member of this team last year as a freshman. What did you take from what you learned in your first year competing and apply it to Saturday? Um, my first year competing, it was I was coming out of club all my club years, and I was kind of getting adjusted into the high school setting. So I kind of just took all my experiences and kind of got all adjusted and got all my nerves out. And I just I started with a my new clean slate for high school on Saturday, and I just did what I knew how to do. Good deal. Yeah. Now, gymnastics meets, they're all about the energy. What do you like about this competitive spirit from this team? I really like this team because we're all really supportive of each other, and we all cheer each other on, and it's just a great atmosphere, and we're all, we just love it, and we all cheer each other on. What about this team makes them team of the week deserving? We're all really supportive of each other. Um, we're all there for each other, no matter what, in, a, in the gym, out of the gym. So I just think that it's really exciting for all of us to get to share this experience together. To have, a, to have as young as a team as you have and to be as good as you are, what do you feel like the potential of this team could be in the next year or so? I think we have a lot of potential. Um, hopefully that we will win sectionals again. And I definitely think that we can win regionals. And one of my goals is to place top three at state. I think we have enough potential to do it. We just need to all get our skills all nice and solid, and I think we'll be able to do it. You kind of touched on this in this last answer, but what are the goals of this team for this year? I think we will try and win sectionals and regionals and place in top three at state. That, those are probably one of our main goals. Good deal. Anything else you'd like to add? No. Nope. Congratulations to the Homestead Spartans gymnastics team. They are your OPS team of the week. With this being your first year at Homestead, what have you grown to love about this competitive Spartan spirit? Well, um, I love how competitive this team is. It's really exciting to be part of something bigger than myself and something that's, you know, so, you know, valuable to my, our school. And, like, I love competing, and it's great to be able to do that in, like, an environment like this. On meet day, it's all about the energy. What did you like from your team as far as energy and competitive spirit on Saturday? Right, well, on Saturday it was really a really good competitive environment. We were all super focused, all cheering each other on. We love each other very much, and so it was super exciting to get to compete with everybody. Why do you think this team deserves a team of the week? Well, I think our team deserves Team of the Week because gymnastics is a really hard sport, first of all. And um, we work so hard to, you know, bring our best to the floor on the competition days. And I really think that um, we deserve it because we're a super loving team and we're ready to compete. With how young this team is and how good you guys are now, what do you feel like the potential of this team is as the season goes on? Well, we have a lot of potential, I feel like, um, especially with how young our team is. Again, like we have so much time to get better and to get our skills really solid. So I think that we're going to be, um, you know, really competitive during the season and hopefully we'll make it to sectionals, states, regionals. Is there any other goals for this team this year besides that or is that just the main one? Well, I think obviously one of our goals is to have fun and, you know, enjoy the competitive atmosphere and spirit that we all have. So. Good deal. Anything else you want to add, Stella? Uh, no, good. All right, well, congratulations to the Homestead Spartans gymnastics team. They are your OPS team of the week. They bent, but they did not break. For the second year in a row, the Homestead gymnastics team placing first in the team's opening meet. Joining me is head coach of the Spartan gymnast, Jody Hardwick, and coach. These girls came in on Saturday. They took care of business. In yes. terms of scheduling, with so much uncertainty from week to week, how important was it to get the season started off 1-0? Uh, yeah, it was great to be able to have an opening meet. It's hard enough to have a dual meet as your first meet, um, but we had an invitational, so there were five teams there. Um, but it was really nice to be able to get in there and find out what they could do, what they have, how nervous they were and everything. So it was a great, it was a great chance to, you know, start it off. <laughs> Turning the question back on you, Coach, what about this team makes them so fun to coach? Um, honestly, they're all very funny and very nice and easy to coach. Um, I plant ideas of what I want them to do or what they could do, and they run with it. Like, they're so easy to coach. There aren't any, um, there's no drama, there are no clicks. 
um, and they basically are like my daughters, so it's so much fun. Now, as I mentioned, this is the second year in a row that the team has won the invite, but as you mentioned to me off camera, this is the highest scoring tally that Homestead has ever scored in an opening meet since you've been a coach here. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about the girls' performance on Saturday. Um, well, normally in an opening meet, um, it's hard enough to have a dual meet at the beginning of season as your first meet. We had an invitational, so there were four other teams there that we had to go up against. Um, basically, they just had to be relaxed and calm and do what they knew how to do. Um, a lot of the times in an opening meet, they're nervous and they have a lot of falls that we have to count. So this year they didn't do that, so it was great. Coach, maybe still too soon to tell, but this team placed seventh at state last year. What about this group of girls this year? As a coach's feeling, makes you feel like they could maybe break into that top five this year. Yeah, I really think that that's possible. It's been possible the last few years, um, but something always happened in the last event at state, um, and then we were bumped down to sixth or seventh. This year, I have so much talent on this team. Every one of them has a really high start value, and as long as they are able to um, you know, perform and, and stick the beam and, um, you know, not have any falls or anything at state, I really think we have a great chance to play high. Coach, anything else you want to add? No. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.